I'm just visiting one of my little hot spots here, my little honey holes. Just a little roadside culvert that often has a few hungry trout in it. Oh, like that one. Oh, I missed him. It might have been a rainbow, I reckon. It looked really shiny. On a mild and overcast September afternoon, I'm just going to sneak down to the creek here and see if I can catch a couple of trout. I made all them waves. There must have been a fish sitting over there then that probably saw me. Oh, look up in there. It's got to be a fish sitting up in there. It'll either get a fish or get snagged. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's like a miracle to get that back. Great work, Robbie. Let's try that again. If one fish coming up, I reckon. Oh, he's headed his front towards me with it. Yes. I saw him come after it and then the line went really slack. Oh no, he's wrapped around all that stuff. How am I going to get that out? I don't know that I can get in there. It's very deep. Oh, good, he's just un ready, going for the big deadlift. Don't get off. What a ripper. Awesome. That's a beautiful rainbow trout. And quick photo and put it back. I'm up on a high bank here, so I'm just going to lob him back down. See you later, mate. Oops, he's in. You just hit the blackberries on the way down. He'll be fine. And I'm feeling fine too. It'd be an easier pool to fish if that big tree wasn't in the middle of it. The better spot. Oh, you see that? Something came out from under that log and just went bang. Yes, look at that. In a really popular spot, right next to the road. It's probably been fished about 20 times so far this season. Oh, mate, let me get <laughs> No, I can't wet my hands here. I'm sorry. Sorry for you, fish. Tell you what, I'm not going to even put you in the esky. No, I'll put you back. Look at that. Right next to the road, in a very popular spot. I've got a trout. On the little... Strike Tiger Micro Minnow in Copper Berry Colour. A lovely little rainbow trout. Oh, got him! Two in this pool. Two in a very busy pool. He came from nowhere, that one. Oh, he's a nice fish. Lovely rainbow. Two in the roadside stretch. Lovely rainbow trout. Ugh, a spider or something on my face. What a lovely trout in a really popular area. That is great. I can see a huge, big, well, not a huge, but a huge by this great standard, a big trout just sitting there. Oh, he swiped at that too. I haven't caught a fish in here for a few years. I used to catch one here every time I come here. He was just sitting there. It would have been a good 30 centimetres long, which for this little creek here is enormous. He probably saw me. It's not like I'm uh, very well camouflaged up here on this high bank. Got him! Oh God, I done him! I done him! Ah! I'm going to cast this little ginger beer coloured striped tiger nymph into the creek over there from way back here. Because if I get any closer, my shadow will be on the water. And that will spook everything. It will spook me. I think everything's spooked before I even got here. 
Got to be fishing there somewhere, doesn't there? Or not? He's one. He's on it. He's on it. Oh. I don't know where he came from. I can still see him. Came from nowhere, that fish. Got him. <laughs> oh, he got off. Come here, mate. Come here. Come here. Come here. The little ginger beer coloured nymph without the claws. Little lean looking fish. Lovely colours, but uh, a bit on the lean side. See you later, mate. See you later, Eileen. Well, we've got one. Oh, yeah, ginger beer nymph. Find me another trout. Just cast into the back of the hole there. So as not to spook the entire pool. I mean, that'll increase my chances of catching two in the one pool. Oh, one come out and hit it. Gee, hit it aggressively. Big yabbies come at me. Bit of yabby recon here. Yes, I caught one. <laughs> it's not a very big one, but it's a little black yabby. I'm actually out in the bush with my wife today. We're taking bird photos and just driving around enjoying the countryside. And I've thrown a couple of yabby nets in to see if I can find anywhere for future yabbying adventures and I've caught a yabby. That excites me. This is a dam that I've never tried yabbying in and today Holly and I are going to put a couple of open top lift nets in here and do a bit of yabby reconnaissance and see whether there's any yabbies in here or not. There's got to be a trout sitting under there, surely. Ooh, I saw a big flash. There is a trout sitting under there. Well, I'm thinking outside the box here, but I've changed to a black and gold strike tiger nymph, one of my all-time favourite trout soft plastics. The reason being, there's a lot of mud eyes around which uh, begin their lives as dragonflies, which are dark and a similar size. And also... <laughs> I did too. Mud eyes that begin their lives as dragonflies. <laughs> so glad I got you to pick me up. I would have had to put that in the video and look like an idiot. That's never happened before. Now this is going to be a pretty basic cook up. I'm just going to fry it in oil. I'm going to fry it hot. I'm going to make the skin nice and crunchy and then I'm going to enjoy it. It's just a... Stop. What? It's not oil, it's butter. Oh right, let's start again. Back in the winter I was walking along this hiking slash bike track and I came across a little dam quite a long way from any roads and I thought when the weather warms up I'm going to hike back out here with some yabbying gear and see if there's any yabbies in here. I've just bought myself a new hiking backpack stove and today I've come out to one of my old favourite yabby dams to try and catch a few yabbies so that I can do a catch and cook and test my new stove. This one is pulling very, very tight. I'm just walking past patrolling my lines and there is definitely something on this one. But how do I land it with this, without getting in the water with gumboots on? I want to catch this yabby. First one I've encountered today. Got to get it above this little... Got him! Two! Oh, one of them's got eggs. Oh, they've both got eggs. That's a bit of a shame. <laughs> That's not gonna, well it's not a shame, it's good for the future of the dam, but it's not so good for the, uh, for the catch and cook. I hope they're on, in the frame properly. It's always hard to tell because I never know which way my camera's facing, but see all the eggs there? Haven't had a bite all day, then when I finally do I catch two, and they've got eggs. A couple of them without eggs that size would be just marvellous. Got a bit of the meat in there too. Put that back in for Burley. Unless I know the system worked, even without gum boots, I'm able to reach out far enough to scoop them up. This one's got a bite, it's gotten really slack. Now it's pulling really tight again. So something's got it and swimming with it. Oh, this is a big yabby or it's two more. <laughs> it's either one big one or I've got another daily double. What's on a snag? Huh? Come on, come on, and big one! Oh yes, no eggs! 
Big one with no eggs. Bigger than the two that had eggs too. You beauty, here's a real good one. All right, you can put the meat back. Oh, we've got a bit of a tangle here. Oh, I feel that would be nice. That's what I came. That's what I came for. Look at that, beauty. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I can feel a feed of yabbies coming on. This may just be the last of the good O's dry dog food that you ever see. Somebody told me that you can't get it anymore. They've stopped making it. I went to Coles the other day in Wang where I'd normally get it and there's none there. I've had this since last summer because I don't do much yabbying all winter. I've just had a big bag of it at home and I've been using it the last couple of weeks and that's the end of it. Someone's just playing with the little stumpy rod here. The line's bouncing around but it hasn't pulled the rod. Missed it. No, got it. It's tiny, whatever it is. The tiniest of tiny fish. Tiny little <laughs> late redfin catch. The kind of sized redfin that I'm used to catching at the Eldorado dredge. See you later, mate.